Is it normal to have some foods that you're missing when you're starting to transition to a plant-based diet? Hey, in case you don't know me, my name is Jason Cheney. I'm one half of a husband and wife team, and we're dedicated to helping you reclaim your physical and financial health, and I specialize on the physical side. And so the question I got in was, um, what was the hardest food for you to give up, and how did you substitute it? And now this is actually a really good question, because sometimes a lot of people see where I'm at now in my journey, and they forget I'm almost five years in, so it's a lot easier for me and a lot of those growing pains I've already went through. And so for me, the hardest food that was for me to give up was actually cheese. Cece and I, we loved cheese. Cheese pizza, just bacon cheese, any snacks with cheese, and everything about our life revolved around cheese. And so through self-education, which is one of our uh, steps in our 3M approach to transitioning, that's how we started understanding that you know, the way that cheese chemically reacts with your brain is no different than taking heroin. And so once I found that, it gave me the definite decision that I'm not, I'm no longer eating cheese. If I'm not going to do heroin, why would I do something else to have the same type of impact on my brain? But, um, it still wasn't easy. So I was still having the cravings, the addictions and wanted to, um, still have it at times. And I was tempted. So in the beginning, I did start to uh, transition by substituting with some of the plant-based cheeses that you can find in the grocery stores. Now, they're not the healthiest thing, but for transition, they're a great way to just get you off of what you're used to. And now uh, that I've been doing this for, whew, about five years now, you know, so now I actually make my own, uh, like, cheese sauces using nutritional yeast, potatoes, carrots, and uh, almond cheese or cashew cheese, things like that. So it's a lot easier for me now to where one, I don't have the cravings for cheese anymore. When I see it, it actually, um, it like makes my stomach curdle. Like I can't believe I used to eat it. But like over time, you are gonna lose that craving for it. So just stick to it. Don't give up on your journey and don't sell yourself short because you will get there. And I hope that was helpful for you. And if you're in your transition and you're starting to struggle with some of these foods that you're missing, make sure to click the link up above for the master class where we walk you through the 3M approach and we actually help you with the self-education part and different other areas to where it give you the definite decision so you know that you're making the right choice for your life and how to stick to it. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.